I've come to Surema Island in Estonia to the Ice Yachting European Championships, where more than 150 competitors are battling it out. I spent the morning watching the racing on a huge slab of frozen sea, where these fragile machines can reach speeds of more than 140 kilometres an hour. I expected to be excited by the speed, but the place, the people, the atmosphere, well, they're just as compelling. And I can't stop grinning. It's, yeah, I never expected this. It's amazing. I can imagine that once this gets into the blood, it's hard to let go. The legend in the sport, Karl Jablonski, is back after a break of eight years and has just finished his first race. So far I had a good day today and I am very happy to make uh, into the A group because that was my goal. I am uh, very happy now that I have uh, you know, enough speed to, yeah. to compete here. Event organiser Jorg Bonn has put his heart and soul into making these championships a success. He is also a competitor. And today on the race course with Jorg, we're about to learn that one tiny mistake in this sport can lead to drama. start for Carol. The seven times world champion takes an early lead. In second place, event organiser Jorg. The race lasts around 15 minutes and they travel around 20 kilometres. Carol approaches the finish, York is still in second place and he's gaining ground, but then pushes too hard. A lonely figure heading towards me, his eye shot in pieces. Basically, on the last downwind, I was in second position uh, chasing Carol and uh, I took it maybe too hard yeah, on the wind, I slide it and uh, then I spun and uh, in the spin the bow came off so there was no chance to continue as you can see, yeah, there's not much I can do with it. After 100 kilometers an hour crash, the only good news is that he has walked away unhurt. It's a big smash, big damage. York was pulling the mage way too early and too fast. He did 360 or even more, and that's uh, it's easy to lose control with this speed, you know, on this uh, uneven ice. York's event appears to be over. But then something happened that told me a lot about this sport and its people. The rest of the fleet wait to start the next race. Not only is he lent a hull, but his rivals actually help him to rebuild it. Ten of his competitors are rigging his boat for him, and I think it's a sign of not only the camaraderie within the fleet, but also just how popular the man is. Shaken, but not at all stirred, Jorg starts the next race in a boat he has never sailed before. And despite having just crashed, scores his best result yet, a second place. I'm happy to be <laughs> back, yeah, so, and to made it in time for the race, yeah, so that was great, just great. Very happy and uh, thankful to the guys, yeah, and uh, that they let me not down and help me all, yeah, that's, I think it's very positive about this sport, yeah, that everybody helps each other. Next, it's my turn in that rather precarious driving seat. But first, news from a place where conditions are very different to those of Northern Europe. <laughs> 